This intro was very long and winding. It was five minutes of complete nonsense and unsensibility. Elixir, what we're gonna do is we're going to cut out all that crap, and I'm gonna we're gonna engage on a different level. Okay? All right. Lixian, figure out a smooth way to get from the intro. To Hi, listen, we're back with another episode of Shadows Over Loathing. We got into Murray's, but Murray isn't here because Murray is actually, an uh, he's my uncle, but the antique store is actually a front to go get exotic uh, artifacts that are haunted. And we are on a responsible mission to go take those artifacts and take them away. And there's also a person named Gabby or a goblin named Gabby, which looks very familiar from the goblin from the first or second West of Loathing, which is actually the second in the series. We're about to go to the newspaper store, and then we're gonna go get a hat that's haunted, and we're gonna kill it. Lixian, that was also way too long. Make it even more succinct from that. We're gonna go kill a hat. No, he's at the desk. Okay, handyman. Oh! Oh, Calliope? Calliope? Oh! No sardines? Okay, Colo Wars Plus store needs some sardines. <laughs> Okay, you open the door and there's just a brick wall behind it. Apparently goes nowhere. Well, that's good. Glad for that. Jessica is not gonna let you sleep until you get that hat. I guess I'll go get the hat. Wait, there was something. Oh yeah, Cola Wars surplus, right? Mm, eh. Where was this newspaper place? Also, how do I get into Cola Wars surplus? Given the current conditions, dark and stormy, you probably shouldn't wander into any alleys. All right, whatever you say. Oh, this one. Wait, what's over here? Secure Burris. Hmm. Nothing interesting over there. Okay. Alright. Hello, any haunted hats? Note says, Robson, first Hinden, then Carver. Who's next? Venable says if Burgess comes comes for him, he's gonna karate chop his desk in half. Sincerely, Curtis Curtis. P.S. What's karate? I uh, that whole letter was confusing. Reporter's cufflinks. Who? Left says always check. Right says your sources. I appreciate that. Did I equip that? Ooh, what did that replace? Gloves? I don't need hot armor. I need mysticality, because that happens to go inside with my spatula. Hinted, I'm not paying you to publish cockamamie conspiracy theories. In fact, I'm not paying you at all. Clean out your desk and hit the road. P.S. Do you like the word cockamamie that I used up there? It's a slang term I coined. It means ridiculous or implausible. I think it's really going to catch on. P.S. Also, you're fired. Letter reads, Reginald, I think Burgess is onto us. We've gotten careless. In fact, maybe I shouldn't be typing this out as a letter instead of just talking to you in person. Why am I doing this? Meet me under the water cooler this afternoon. Ah, crap. Here comes Burgess with a pink slip. It doesn't say who it's from. The writer must have gotten fired before they could type their name. Also, under the water cooler. What's that about? Government corruption at an all-time high. The government is once again slash funding to the city services and social programs, citing waste, but without offering any supporting figures or explaining where the funds have been reallocated to. Additionally, anonymous sources report <laughs> it cuts off abruptly, maybe as a result of the pink slip next to the typewriter. Curtis, I've, I've told you once, I've told you a hundred times, not enough people buy the paper anymore to keep the lights on in this joint. Electricity is expensive because it's a very recent innovation. As such, fully half of your salary is paid by government subsidies. We go back way back, buddy, but you've given me no choice. Clean out your desk and scram. Well, it's awfully nice that he wrote it in a letter. Hey, coffee. I gotta ask the old coffee. Can I drink that one or am I not allowed to drink any one? Increase your maximum AP until you use another potion. What's a potion? I can't even drink that one. Pneumatic tube operating... I'm operating. Looks like the eye had some state-of-the-art delivery infrastructure. I guess. Oh, boy. Without anything specific, you waste your time. I doubt that. I'll let you know when I'm wasting my time. Hello? Oh! Tragic accident certain to have no consequences. Hiram O'Crollins, owner of the first mass-produced commercial automobile registered in the state, accidentally struck <gasps> the hitchhiker. Ooh, the notion that vengeful spirits of the dead might haunt the places of their demise in murderous phantasmagoric rage has been rejected by modern science as rather unlikely, wouldn't you say? Unlikely. Sure. Yeah. Oh, God! You don't know what went into this bag, but you know that the only thing that's ever going to come out of it is a congealed mass of foul goo. Glad I put that in my pocket. It's a big, heavy water cooler, and it's got something to hide. Move. Oh. All right. No need to tell- FISH PEOPLE! IT'S FISH PEOPLE! I always suspected it would be fish people! It's an underground press, literally. There's still a newspaper left in there. Oh, this was printed in a secret underground newspaper office. Okay. There's a huge black skull scrawled on July 22nd, 1917. What happened that day? How could I ever know? Oh. 
Consult the manual. Push green. Oh my god, do I need to even need to read this? Now I'm going to use my superior memory to get this on the first try. <gasps> Push green power button. Pull, pull the pump and gauge ladder. Adjust the suction rate according to the pressure diagnostics. If red, suction A. If blue, suction E. If green, D. Red A, blue E, green D. Green D, blue E, red A. Red A, green D, blue E. Green D, A, red A, blue E. To abort, red power off button. So watch the indicator. Needs to be perfect. Green button, go! Boink. Satisfying click. You hear a motor starting somewhere. I'm gonna pull the lever. Yellow is glowing. Okay, red A, blue E, green D, A, B, C, D, E, F. Oh, if it's yellow, yellow is a combination of green and blue. No. I don't know. You... What? It's a rainbow! What does a rainbow look like? It's a rainbow. So... Yellow is C. Yellow is C. Oh, look at you go! Get out of go! They're dead. Damn, I'm good. Well, someone going to give some very strange mail, and how? What were those things? What were they doing here? Were they trying to start an underwater newspaper? That wouldn't work the inkwood smear. I didn't even get to talk to him. I'm just too smart. It was a rainbow, everybody. All right, what is this? Ah, top story. Ocean City's Comptroller is passing of an overly complicated sidewalk right-of-way policy that outlawed street-side newspaper vending machines and limited the maximum allowed width of the... I don't care about any of this! <laughs> At least I got some XP. I'll do the muscle. It's important to do because of certain story-wise things to open and close doors. Anyway, is this a haunted hat? What's with the shadowed outline of someone? Anomalous, vaguely person-shaped stain is on the ground. Well, nothing to worry about that for me. It's the hat. I got a terribly cursed fedora. A simple black felt fedora. It doesn't look cursed, but it has a palpable aura of menace about it. Nothing good can come of this. I'm gonna equip it. Nice. Probably a horrible mistake. But goddamn do I look good while- You decide you won't be needing that pneumatic tube operating manual after all and return it to the desk you grab it from. Alright, cool. La la la! I have a cursed hat! La la la! Look at my curse! I am cursed forever and ever! La 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 da da da! Hello, it's me, I'm wearing it. Looks like you found the hat. I found a hat. I guess it's the one you want. Doesn't look unusual, although... Yeah? Well, it does creep me out a bit. Can't really put my finger on why. I know what you mean. Feels kind of like you have a headache. Except you don't, actually. More like a feeling of dread, like something terrible is about to happen. But I don't know what it is yet. Yeah, it's definitely not related to the fact that I need you to take the hat and go sit in the machine over there. Why? It's our uncursing machine. Gotta get the curse off the hat, right? Oh, okay. Yeah, it makes sense. But, but, can't we just put the hat in the machine? Why do I need to be involved? Because the machine needs a mind to guide the uncursing process. Together, you'll lift the curse from the hat and transform it into a sort of allegorical dream space that the machine can transfix. Alright, I'm assuming some of you got what that was, but I didn't feel like- Hello. Chess. Hi. You must be Charles Wallace. Of course. Pleased to meet you, Mark. What do you do around here? General Handy- Oh, Handyman. Built the Detectotron and the Uncursing Machine. That's some real high-tech wizardry. Oh, it's nothing. It's nothing. How does it work? I only built the thing, can't tell you how it works. The innards are all wild up to a little porcelain cat figure that Murray found somewhere. That's weird, yep. Nothing right now, you wanna play chess? Uh, not me, never learned. Jessica? Sure. I don't remember how to- I don't- I'm not good at- I'm not good at- What is fianchetto upon? I'm gonna fianchetto upon! How do I respond? I'm gonna- I'm gonna skewer a bishop. Okay. I'm gonna- I'm gonna jadubia queen! Ah, oh, god damn it. Alright, terribly cursed fedora, go for it. 
No sooner have you sat down the machine with a hiss, it positively whiffs the fazora straight up into the dome. The hat rattles around in there angrily like a snake in a cement mixer, and after a good loud minute, flops limp and wet into your lap. Whatever ominous energy once possessed a terrible cursed hat is gone. It is now simply a terrible hat. But the curse itself still lives, transfixed as a dreamlike construct within the machine. Now how do I get rid of that curse? Curses are like energy, they can't be created or disordered, destroyed, only changed. Newton, Newman, Newton, Newton, Isaac Newton, Newman, Newton, Newton, Newman. Yeah, the machine knows how to take a curse from one object and put it in itself, but as far as how you change a curse, uh, I don't know. That's some higher consciousness. Alright. Oh, I'm doing it now! Th who is this? Who, who is me? Ah. Interesting. I'm me or I'm the curse. I don't- Oh, God! I heard thy death call, creature. What does that even mean? Rest now, I will find in Van Morer. Tree fell before its time, a ground stained with sin. Yes. Et in Arcadia, ego! Even in Arcadia, there is death. Even in paradise, there is a killer. I- whatever. Okay, you got it, buddy. Wow. Thou know who I am and why I'm here. Aye, Cutter, there has been a murder. What knoweth thou of murder? Thou I did not do the murder, and that is all. What more have thee for me? Only this, I am one of three brothers. Why have I always telling the truth? Why have I always lied? And the only one is back of all but <laughs> <laughs> uh, if, <laughs> if I find in thee a liar, there's nothing, there's no thing I can do to save in thee. I cut her, thou art a servant of the wood. Blessed be her brownses. <laughs> Blessed to be. Nice hats. <laughs> well, there is only honks. Big power in the wood day, cutter. Aye, a tree has fallen in the forest and it is made a sin. But not me a sinner, that I assure thee. Thou claim to be without sin. None of us is without sins, but mine do not run a murder. Then whose? Look for my brother. Thy brother speckens of three brothers. One who lies, one who tells truth, and one who honks. This is fairy talk. No thing has honkin in this land since Mother Duck laid the big egg. No honkin since then. No sire. Hmm. Interesting. Something is rotten in the woodcutter. I am murder. The perversions at its source. Speak me to me of perversions. I have no thing to say, for I do not tarry with them. What do thou tell in me? I am troubled by the murder, but of it I know no thing. I warn thee. My forgiveness makes no room for liars. Thou wilt do what thou must, cutter, I have no doubt. That brother speaking of three brothers. I do not honkin, sire. I swear in upon it. Never thou hast thou honkin. Never, never. Tis a sin in my eyes. Long may thee gr So who's honkin? Who's honkin? You honkin? Thou lie about honkin. What say? Thy brother's honkin not. <laughs> thou wouldst lie to the cutter of the wood. Well, thou wouldst do murder in the wood. Aye, thou hath it right. I o sought only to distract in thee while I make in my escape. Goodbye, Cutter. Do not run from me, tree! You're not running. Thou do not run? Nay, I grow. <laughs> in one hundred years I will hath grown so tall and strong, thine axe will never fell in me. Uh, die, Mordoror. Well, that was... <laughs> Oh, all right. Okay. All right. Big rod in the wood today, Cutter. And wait, what? No, that's not me. I don't talk like that. Oh, I got a hat upgrade. This is the era with which to walk around and wear a fedora. I just want to say that. It, it, it really is. It is, actually. I'm going back to Grady. Nice hat. Thanks. Yours is all right. It's not that great, actually. Anyway, can I go to bed now? How'd it go? It worked, I think? I had some crazy dream. There was a woodcutter. There was me, I guess, in these talking trees, and one of them had sinned. You know what? Never mind. Some kind of crazy dream is plenty for me. Okay, good night. Ah, what's that? Ooh, old ragdoll. Must have been left. Walk away from the shelf. Alright. 
Lots of empty space in here. You should try to acquire a bunch of random crap to clutter it up with. <laughs> Maybe I will. Simple writing desk. Oh, unpack! What the hell? My clothes! My stuff! You stamped out the flames, but it's a total loss. Everything you own has been reduced to ash. Ah! Everything except, bizarrely, the stamp from Murray's letter. Ah, it's got a picture of a cute dog. Weirdly, it isn't even charged. Is it cursed? Is that, is that, is that stamp cursed? <laughs> it's so tired you can't even work at the door on him. Alright, it's time to sleep, I guess. Oh, boy. Alright. A dream about school. <laughs> wow. Look at this. It's a dream. Hi, what? Lots of people in the hallways, it seems. Hello! How's it going? I don't know what your locker is. Alright, check the seventh one. There isn't a seven. I said check it! Check seventh locker now! Filled with old school papers? What kind of papers? They got your name on them, they're your papers. Alright. How I Spent My Summer by Mark E. Plier, age six. This summer I visited my Uncle Murray. Uncle Murray is funny, he knows magic. I had a fun time with Uncle Murray, the end. Look under the platers. <gasps> no! An overdue library book. Checked out 13 years ago and I've spent the last 12 years and 50 weeks feeling slightly guilty about not returning it. Okay, whatever. Six locker opens, vast, uncaring, empty space. Okay, fifth one. Cookbooks, all in French. Empty. Babe Ruth. Peanut butter. Thriving colony of ants. Well, that was a waste of time. Okie dokie then. Hi. Branwith Gravunculus. Hello. You must be Iplier. Monk, who's asking? I'm your academic advisor. It's time for you to choose your class. But I dropped out. In real life, certainly, you must, however, choose a class. I don't understand. Oh, I get it. This is where I pick up a character class. Now then. Three classes. There's advanced kicking and throwing. This class is for pig skinners. We have the overview of curd churner conjuring. This is a class for cheese wizards. Weird time signatures 504. This is, of course, for jazz agents. I really like cheese. I like cheese a lot. As trained chef magi, cheese wizards use their intellect and mysticality to accomplish their goals. In combat, they wield hard elemental cheeses to damage their foes and soft soothing cheeses to heal themselves. I really like cheese. Like, I have an unhealthy relationship with cheese. I love cheese. I'll be a cheese weather. Wiz wizard. Brilliant! Now then, there's just a minor matter of your minor. It looks like you've already completed it, but it doesn't say what you studied. Cryptobotany? Applied insectology? I like the psychology of rocks. Ah, psychogeologist. So you know a lot about rocks and the gems and their hopes and dreams. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh yeah. I believe we're done. Feel free to wake up. Just go through that door. Thank you. Ah, shady. Cool. Am I a cheese wither now? <laughs> Don't look too closely. Alright, fair enough. Only way to interact with your inventory during a dream is if you had convinced Freddy to hold it for you at the exact moment you went to sleep. Who's Freddy? I did that. Yeah, I did. I asked Freddy to hold all my stuff and he said yes. You don't even know Freddy. Alright, fine. Nice lady says that this door always leads back to your waking life. Alright, I'm awake now! Ray! I'm a cheese wizard and all my stuff exploded, I just remembered. That's very sad. Hi, Jessica. I just sleep. Oh, all my clothes burned up in a freak luggage fire. Oh, geez, that's weird and unfortunate. You seem less surprised by it than I would expect. We've gotten accustomed to weird and unfortunate stuff happening around here. You can pick out some clothes from the shop out front if you don't mind looking like someone's dusty old grandpa. Once you get the sleep out of your eyes, I got another mission for you. Another curse thing. Yeah, I've had my eye on it for a while, but it keeps moving around. Most of the readings put it at a local speakeasy at the back of an alley at the other end of the block. The artifact isn't there right now, but... That's where I'd start looking. Maybe you can pick up some clues. Okay, what am I looking for? Appears to be a watch of some kind. A pocket watch, or maybe a wrist watch. I can't be certain. Alright, watch in the alley. You'll need the password for the speakeasy. It's fiddlesticks. Also, let me give you a checklist. Enchanted, so it always shows you whatever's written on the chalkboard here. Hmm. Oh, meat! Ooh, that's ominous, but thanks. Why is it ominous? In case things get rough, that's why it's ominous. I should read till the end. But what, this wasn't here before, was it? Antique bookshelf man came by this morning and Charles couldn't resist the deal. Can't believe I slept through the antique bookshelf man. 
All books are in Latin, never learned Latin myself, so who knows if it's a history of Roman Empire we got there or pornography. Could be both. You know any Latin? Hehe, <laughs> oui. That's Latin for little, right? So you know a little. Uh, cheese I have smelt. That's pretty good. Magna. Wow, thank you. Squint at it? Now is not the time for squinting. Feats of great stench. There's an epilogue, but due to a misprint. Ah. Oh, it'll upgrade the queso fustalento that I just did. Oh, overdue library book. I didn't even know I had it. All right, I need to get something for the cat. Chapter one. Oh my god, I forgot that was all the prologue. I was totally lost in the story that I completely had forgotten about everything. Yeah, let me go here. Hi. How are you? Good to see you. Hello, fellow war enthusiast. I'm Herschel. Herschel Wood. I don't really- Warren! War! Uh, I hate war, actually. I wouldn't say I'm an enthusiast. Can I interest you in fine historical memorabilia? Ask about the dubious grenades. They're fine, probably. Why doesn't the box say fine grenades, then? How'd you like to do some field research? Sure. Dubious Cola Wars grenade. <laughs> Alright, just try them out next time you get in a fight. When you're all done, come back and let me know how it went. Okay. What's for sale? Oh, shit. I need some heat armor if you have it. Parmesan missile? Oh. Hell yeah. Uh, unfortunately, not anything that I can do. So I'm not going to do anything about it. Alright, goodbye. What was I? What was my good thing I have a to do list? Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. Oh! They almost got me there. You almost got me. All right. You weave between the various trash cans and piles of uncanned trash until you reach a serious looking door. Password? Fiddlesticks? Flapty back? Fifty snacks. Fishy drinks. Flippy tricks. Fingertips? Fiddlesticks? I guess. Come on in, but you better not be a pro he i don't even know what a pro he is speak easy friend oh hey isn't it you guys oh, yeah there's a fishman from the watchful eye man he's really going for it all right good job keep it up uh i guess i could have fought you before but hi remember me beat it bud we're off the clock i didn't realize you could talk i can talk about anything you like dickens flabbert bruntis what can you tell me about brontes books are too long flabbert books are too long books are too long what books are the right length? <laughs> None. All right, cool. Well, I was nice talking to you. Hi. Uh, leave him to his milkiness. Hey, you can have a drink. There you go. The lake is deep enough to drown dreams, but not the sins of the grandfather. Wow. For those who can read them, the signs are there, right here in this very room. I, th I, I see. I think. They try. But they'll never dam up the flow. Huh? Okay, alright, okay. <gasps> there it is! There it is! There it is! Anyway, hey, uh, you really give it for him. Hey, can I talk to you about something? Hey, you Oliver? Oh, heck no, Fancy Dan the Cocktail Man! Hey, do you have a watch? Ah, uh, the only one who carries a pocket watch is the owner, Oliver Gluck. And he left about an hour ago to pick up our latest ship in a hooch. From who? From whom, baby? Before I was Fancy Dan the Cocktail Man, I was Fancy Dan the English teacher. Oh, sorry, from whom? From the mob guys we always get it from. Whither went... <laughs> Whither went Oliver, the old refrigerator factory? How do I get there? Uh, cocktail napkin hands it. Thanks? Wrong napkin. Grabs a different one with icons. Mapkin? Mapkin! Wow, okay. I have a mapkin. We're here behind Murray's store on Plunkett Street, so if you go out the alley and then head straight for the edge of the napkin, you can't miss a factory. Well, thank you! This is very helpful! I'm definitely not a pro he! I'll take a- yeah, give me- I'll take a- beer. Yeah, give me beer! Hell yeah! All right, cool. You've had better beer, but you've definitely had worse beer. Got another drink? Uh, thank you. Hmm. All right, thank you. Goodbye. Can I uh, talk to you about something? Something spit related? Obviously, on a first date, and you shouldn't bother them. Well, I've never been obvious about everything. 
Some weird symbols are carved on one of the floor tiles. Those are the same ones from the guy in the train car, I think. It's weirdly responsible for this illegal poison dispensary to have a first aid kit. Oh, that's handy. Hi. Making ethereal music with spirit-filled glasses. Okay. All right, come with me, Gabby. Because I imagine I'm going to have to fight someone eventually. In daylight, it's clear this bank has been closed for some time. The door to the bank has been fastened with three locks. That is the maximum possible level of security. What about four? What about four locks? Four lock systems are still dismissed as unachievable liberal fantasy. <laughs> What's under the welcome mat? Not a bad idea, but if you're going to lift a welcome mat, you need to know what you're looking for first. How much stuff can be under a welcome mat? Oh! Well, all right. Oh, thank you. Okay, uh, sneaky peek. Key turns over in this lock, but nothing happens. Something sneaky about this Pete, after all, right? How about Methapon? Interesting. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. I need to have high stats to be able to do there. Walk somewhere else? Sure. Fridge factory. Hobo nods pleasantly as he passed, tips his head. Howdy, fella. My name's Stevie Garcia. I haven't been able to find work in town. Any chance you could spare seven meats so I can buy some caviar? I'd be really grateful. Caviar? Not just, say, a sandwich? Well, aim high, I figure. I don't know what I'd call seven meat caviar, but it is an aiming high. All right. There you go. I am a good egg. Thank you very much. I'm a pretty good egg. Hi, right, what is going on here? <laughs> this toll booth has obviously been stolen and dragged here. <laughs> Ah, uh, looks like they're here for some serious business. I also am here for serious business. Private party, club members only? Yeah, club members only. What kind of club? Fraternal order of people who bribed us more than we're earning as gate guards. Fop bum egg? I've never heard of it. <laughs> How, do I do? How do I join? What are you, thick? I'd have thought it was obvious, pal. You give us meat. How much? 500. 500! Told you to knock off that repeating business. Let's see. How am I supposed to come up with that kind of meat? How about a beating instead? How about a beating instead? Uh-oh. Ah, my kneecap. Why do you get to go first? Um, I have this cola. Uh, is there any one of you guys I can kill with the cola? Ah, you'll die with the cola. Probably. Take this! Oh, frick! Ow! Why? Let me try this instead. Take this queso fustalino! I'm gonna die, but at least I can try something here. And this should kill you. Although I'm gonna die. Interesting. Thank you, Gabby. No, not Gabby's goon! Not my kneecap! Oh, my crow! Why would you hit a bird? Alright, I'm gonna try this again. It's definitely gonna work this time. Holy crap, it worked. I can't believe it worked. Take this case to Fustamento! Hiya! Uh sure. You're gonna kneecap me, aren't you? No, not our goon! No! Gabby, no! Well, this is a problem. You punch real hard in the goon, but if I lower your everything, this is a this is not the best situation to be in. I don't think I should use all of my items this turn. Yeah, I'm gonna just, I'll probably go for a loss here, and then in the next one I'll actually use my items because if I use if I use all my items here and it's just a loss anyway, then I'm not gonna do anything. My goon, ow. My kneecap! Uh. Well, don't worry. Oh. You realize that winning is better than losing, and you resolve to do better in the future. Oh! Ooh. I'll do that. One to maximum AP. Well, I'll take it. Good thing I lost. I'll take care of the beating. Ow. My moxie. All right, but this time... This time it's gonna go good -er than it did before. Because I'm gonna throw this at you. I'm gonna heave this at you. Take that. And then I'm gonna heave this. Oh, I thought I could use one more combat item. But that's fine. Because I'm gonna use this at you and finish off you. Yep. 
And then this to flip you. Oh wait, did I have one more AP? Oh crap, I didn't do that right. No, I'm super dumb. My goon! No! Well, my bird. He shrugged. Interesting. Interesting. Stupid. Stupid idiot. Dumb. You fool. You fool. Fool. Moron. Huh. You're dumb. Take another! And another! Oh. That's a lot of stats! That's a lot of st uh, that's a lot of stats! How did you- why you get so- No! Th you got- how did you get so many No! You telling me? Why do you? I used my st I swear. Angry. Oh, I'm got. I'm not gonna beat you. You're gonna get it this time. I'm gonna kick you in the air ass. That was your first mistake. Get ready for your second. Grenade. This is gonna happen. Oh God. Son of a bitch. <sighs> Why is it only doing two damage? I feel like it should do more than two damage. No! This is definitely gonna work this time. Alright, wow, it worked. I can't believe it. Oh boy. Oh wow. Please work. Holy crap, it works, but I think I'm still gonna die. Um, boy, I wish I had. You're gonna punch me for 14 damage? Why do you have so much everything? Oh, cause you stat it up, you big bitch. Well, now I'm contemplative. I take a moment, oh, you son of a bitch. You think you're better than me. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Okay. I can take this punch. Oh, the bird can take the punch. Definitely. That helps a lot. Don't you do it. Oh, I can see exactly what they're intending to do. Hmm, that is helpful. I, I probably should have known about that way, way sooner. You're going to punch me for eight. You're going to punch Gabby for nine. Well, I can't just stand by and allow that to happen. I'm going to use this to heal you. I really shoved that in your gob. Okay, this is where it's going to go. Five stench damage. It's not ideal, but it'll do. Ooh, should just be able to get it one more go of things. Alright, so you're gonna hit me, you're gonna hit me, so I don't need to heal Gabby, because you're gonna die. Yes, 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 this is it, this is it, this is it, good, excellent, good, good, emit, emit! You're done, you're done for, you're done. That's okay, that's okay, that's okay, I'll avenge you, I'll avenge you, Gab. I'll avenge you, and I've avenged you! You're dead, you're dead, all of you are dead. You're all dead. That was impressive, thank you very much. Definitely didn't take me 10,000 times. Alright, anyway, good stuff. Mag... Magimech Tech. Ah, Refrigerator Tech. Two counts as a fleet, they have a whole fleet of these things. Really cold. What do you mean it's cold? How cold could it? Oh, refrigerate. It's refrigerate. I guess it's refrigeration. Eleven in one oil. According to the fine print, eleven of the world's religions are actually part of a larger secret religion understood only by the old man who owns the company that makes the oil. Oh, 
Okay, do I drink that for a, a moxie? Okay, sharpening stone. Ah. Good. Hoping this door would make a lot of noise and draw a lot of attention. Also, you don't know how to open it. Okay, good. Am I supposed to be being secret here? Brand new, empty, kind of boring. Make some stuff? I don't- I can't make anything? Okay. Oh, I, I got stuff! Ooh, can I make stuff now? Alright. Looks like something's going down over there. Is that all? It's all there? The 40 cases? It's all there, Gluck. You got the meat? Whoa. Dark Noel? What? Surprise inspection? What? Intr what? 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 Seems to be a bit of a standoff between the mob guys and the other ones. Lady in the weird crimbo hat glares at you as you approach. I don't recall inviting you to this party. Are you gonna introduce yourself? None of your business. What's wrong with your hat? Nothing at all. Crimbo hat is appropriate for all seasons. It's all spooky and the like. <laughs> it's cutting a hole in the world. You could see stars through it. It's all spooky and like... Just super spooky. I'm sure I have no idea what you mean, Oliver Deer. Are you busy? <laughs> Be a deer and kill this guy. Uh-oh. Um, Oliver, are you okay? Look, it's gonna be fine. Whoa, man, uh, hello? Uh, shadows begin to gather around him, abstract menacing shapes. Ah, uh, hey, you mob guys, can I get you to give me a hand with this? Considering the newly terrified Mr. Gluck is between us and the exit, seems like we got no choice. All right. Yeah, I, whoa, man. Thanks, guys. Shadow bite. Oh, boy. I'm not sure I understand anything of what's going on. It's a shadowy slab. I don't even know what that means. I'm a blast it. Yo. All right, I did it. I seem to understand where the shadows over shadows of loathing comes from. Take this. Uh oh. What did you just do to Gabby? No! Oh, I thought you were going for Gabby. Oh, I was almost worried for a second there. I mean, that guy did have the gun, and that probably is kind of important. Shadow Oliver Gluck intends to touch temporary mob ally dealing. Ah. Well, at least it got a hit out. Um, let me at least. I'm just going to kill this thing because it deserves it. Hey, yeah. Uh. Uh-oh. Oh, God, no! So spooky. I'm guessing I'm gonna probably be fine. You're gonna touch the wren? I mean, horrible. Don't do that. No! Ah, bird's fine. It's fine. Slap him. Give him a good slap. Nice. Take this. Oh, one away. No! I'm fine. Slap him. Wham. Nice. Shadow creatures defeated the two mob guys, brushed themselves off. Woo, this caper has got me all balled up. And now oh, this whole scene is nutty as a squirrel's mistress. Come on, let's amscray. They tip their hands to you and make for the door. This case was left to that guy. He's mostly dissolved into a cloud of that weird shadow stuff, but there are a few objects on the ground. A pocket watch, a bank pouch, and an official looking document of some sort. Well, it's just wrong. And a bank pouch full of meat, and deed to the speakeasy. It's mine now! Turns out the Gluck guy was the owner of the speakeasy, and now you are maybe. Is that how deeds work? Yeah! <laughs> Booze looks dangerous, and it also appears to be tainted with some kind of sinister magical energy. Fridge is plugged in. Experimental, not for lunches. Fridge has been fitted with an experimental automatic ice cube maker. Unfortunately, it's one made one single gigantic ice cube that fills the entire fridge. I guess you never need a block of ice as big as... You, here's where you can get it. If I ever need a block of ice as big as me, I'm gonna remember that because I'm sure in the future I'm gonna need a block of ice as big as me. You don't have to leave the building and open your map, by the way, you can just click the map. Go back to Plunkett Street. Well, I feel like walking, so shut up! Also, I feel like ending the episode, because that's all the time I have. Thank you everybody so much for watching! Get ready for more Shadows Over Loathing, because we now know what the shadows are that are in Loathing, or over it, rather. They're actually right behind you. Look out! Look out!